In this tutorial, we're going to first start out by changing the page background colors. Then we're going to go into inserting a background color in the footer and adjust text fonts, colors, and sizes. So we want to go ahead. We, now we have it on split view. We want to go to design view temporarily. And in the CSS styles panel, I'm going to take and pull my panel over here. And I'm going to choose the body. I'm going to double click and that box pops up. We want to choose in the category on the left hand side, background. And right now the background color is sort of a dark gray. We're going to change that to black. And then we're going to hit apply. And notice how our color, background color changes. And we're going to choose OK. Now we're going to go and insert a graphic background into the footer. Remember that if you use just one solid color over a large selection of the page, you can make for a dull design. But if you use a gradient image, it can add multi-dimensional flourish without burdening extra internet bandwidth. So let's go over to our CSS styles panel. We're going to add this down in the footer of our page. So we're going to choose footer. And make sure you have your background maximized. And we're going to click on image over here, the background image. And if you do that, let's make this a little wider so you can see. You've got a file folder beside it. This is what we want to do. Click browse. We're going to choose navigate to where your location is. Mine is right here. I'm going to double click background. And I'm going to take and move this CSS style, dock it back over there. Scroll down. You notice how you have now in your footer, you have that background image. Next, we're going to adjust the text fonts, colors, and sizes. And over in the CSS styles panel, right now I have it on all, and I'm going to change it to current. You notice you have summary and rules. I'm going to find that body section, double click it, and the rule definition for body pops up, this box. I'm going to change the font family. It's on for Donna, Arial, Helvetica, and Sans Serif. I'm going to change it to Trebuchet. Arial, Helvetica, and Sans Serif, and I'm going to click OK. If you wanted to change the color of your font, for example, let's change this in our footer to white, you would go over here to your rules. Again, we're in current, and that's in the footer, so we're going to double click our footer, and we're going to change the color by using the color picker, change it to white, click OK, and now it's changed to white. If I wanted to choose any other part in the body, I would double click body. And say I wanted to pick the green in there in the picture. We can take our color picker, go over here to the green, click OK, and it's changed to the green. We don't want to do that. I just wanted to show that to you for reference. And I'm going to undo this by clicking Control Z. I keep that black for now. I've shown you how to change the color of the font in the CSS styles panel. I'm going to show you one more way. And let's go ahead. We're going to change everywhere where you see green, like here, 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 and here, for the four places. We're going to change it to the actual green in the footer down here. So I'm going to choose my first green, select and highlight. I'm going to come down here to my properties inspector. Make sure you have CSS. Over here, selected. I'm going to click my color picker, take and choose the green, and now the new CSS rule box pops up. We have class selected, that's correct, and here I'm going to change this to green and hit enter. Now that changed to green for me. So the easy way in going ahead instead of having to do that all over again, you can select the green. Highlight, click, and drag. And over here, I'm going to change it to my targeted rule to green, the one that we just created. And I can do that over here as well to the other two. And I'm going to do it to my last one. 
Now I want to save what I've done so far, so I'm hitting Control S, Command S if you're a Mac user. The very last thing I'm going to show you is quite simple. It's to preview a page in a web browser. If you look up here, it looks like a world. We're going to click that, preview in an Internet Explorer, and the Internet Explorer window pops up, and then you can view your page, which is what it would look like on the web. And that concludes our tutorial.